imaginary friend when you have fuzzy. Where'd it go? There it is. It's perfect. It's I never perfect. want to take it off. That was in English, but you know. I'm taking I it am off. too. I'm I don't, really not. This is a <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, friends, to Clever Style. You guys, is it cold where you live? Because it's not here. We live in LA. It's yeah. literally 65 degrees. In order for me to wear this coat today, I had to wear it with a bra. We know that so many people need coats this season. We all travel. Mm -hmm. You know, some areas are cold. Some yeah. offices are cold. Yeah. We felt like we should do coats. All of our coats that we're wearing today are from Amazon. Shocker. And then also, get this, they're under $50. But don't worry, you guys. Everything we try on today will be linked in the description box below so you guys can shop for yourselves as well. We're going to rank in five different <laughs> different coat categories on a scale of one to five chosen emojis. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna rank in quality, comfort, and fit. That's so right. you won't have any questions by the end of this video. I'm gonna go with the little smooth criminal man who's like elevated off the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and use the snowman emoji because snowmans need coats too. No, they don't they they'll they'll melt. melt like they? literally they'll die. I didn't think it all the way through, okay? <laughs> Drew really wants me to go with the poodle, yeah. which I feel like is an underused emoji, so I will go with poots. But I think it's time that all of us bring you so much joy <laughs> in trying on these coats. Yeah, Let's okay, go. first one. Growing up, I loved Inspector Gadget because he wore trench coats. Literally, I sat down, I was like, da 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 da, da Inspector Gadget. <laughs> This is the trench coat round. Um, I feel like it's a wardrobe staple for those of you who are coat fanatics. I went for like a lighter, more like versatile style trench, if you will. I really like this a lot. I really like this color. I really like the cut. I feel like you could wear this in a climate that's not super cold. I think it's just really versatile. You could dress it up, you can dress it down, which is what women love to say about outfits. Mm -hmm. And I really like it. The only thing is I feel like the fabric is a little cheap quality and I'm running into a sleeve issue, which is always an issue for me, so. Yeah. I really like it, and I love this color with your hair. I do, too. It looks really good. It's like a mauve. So this coat was $30, dare you even call it a coat. For quality, I'm gonna give it three. Poodle. <laughs> poots. Stop. <laughs> three poots, because it really just doesn't feel very expensive. It feels very cheap. For comfort, I'm gonna give it five poots, because it's so comfortable. It's like, I feel like I'm wearing my own skin. For fit, I have to give this two poots, because it just doesn't fit me, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to give this away, which is really sad. Why, what do you mean it doesn't fit you? Because the yeah. sleeves? Yeah. But the sleeves, I think you can get away with that. I think you can get away with it too. If I was home alone, I'd wear this and rock it. So you went for a duster, and I kind of went for a similar type of duster feel, but it's actually like a cardigan. There's not a lot for me to say about it. It's really comfortable and soft, but it takes a lot for animal print to look okay, in my opinion, and whenever it looks like illustrated or painted or like, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like the leopard print bothers me. I just feel like the lining really bothers me because it's so like not printed. I like it for like pajamas, but I don't know if I love it in public. I think you naturally make things look cool. Uh -huh. So it's like I, your outfit and the way you're wearing it is making me think I like it. But if it wasn't on you, I think it's more so just like wearing around the house. But you know, it's only $25, which is, it's not worth $25. It's kind of a lot for that. Yeah, I, I was gonna say it's not worth $25 because it's not even a coat, really. So for quality, I would give this, I guess like a three right in the middle. It just looks like one of those things that it's gonna get really fuzzy after a while. And really faded and mm -hmm. faded. Yeah, just fuzzy fade and faded. Away. For comfort, it's super comfortable. Like I would be lying if I said I wasn't at like five snowmen for comfort because I'm not uncomfortable even in the slightest. Mm -hmm. It's super soft. And for fit, um, yeah, it fits me where it should. So five, five snowmen. So really like it's not even that bad of a rating. It's just, I just don't like it. This is the trench that I chose. So like very typical trench, you know? Yeah. Like in my mind, like when I think of trench coat, this is the <sighs> prototype, you know? I got this specifically because I love a moment where you like show up to the guy you're dating's house. I knew she was gonna go there. Yeah. I knew it. As soon as I saw her in this, I was like, she's gonna talk about addressing herself. <laughs> yep. You wear lingerie or nothing at all. You put this on and you show up in like the little stockings. Yeah. So cute. You look like you should be taken very seriously. Yeah. Thank you. You look like, you look like a detective. <laughs> I love the way it feels. There's so many adjustable moments. There's Can I a see lot the of, lining? Oh, it's a Burberry like ripoff. Big Burberry, you know? I'm it pissed. also has it up here. I'm I am off. too. I, I am really mad. <laughs> <laughs> For quality, I'm gonna give it five. Little smooth criminals. 
<laughs> and for comfort, I'm gonna give it five. Smooth criminal. Yeah. <laughs> and then for fit, I'm gonna give it five. Well, smooth criminal. <laughs> Good. I think the audience so would cool. also give it five. And if you guys would like to purchase this coat, it's too late. It's only forty five dollars, guys. Damn, I might hit that link in the description. Oh. Uh, Shall we move on? <laughs> Category is moto jackets. I went in a little bit of a different direction. I went with more like a suede, like a crop suede with fringe. I think the concept is exactly what I wanted, but the execution is so poor. So this is like construction paper. You know, I like the fringe element. It feels very like western -y. Yeah. yeah. I like that suede is like an alternative look to leather, which I do a lot of leather anyway in the winter, and I don't have anything like this. It looks really cute, but the quality looks really bad. Yeah. Like the idea of this coat, so cute. I know. But like I don't even but, know if they like the audience would be able to tell. It's one of those things like you almost have to see up close to see just like how poorly yeah. made it is. Yeah. If you guys actually have a coat like this and you own it, let us know in the comments because I wanna buy this, but just yeah. like one that actually looks good. Yeah. So for quality I would give this a zero. Can I give something a zero boots? Stop, Aaron. I can't handle it every single time. <laughs> So for comfort, I give it, I give it four poots. Yeah. It's comfortable. It's so comfortable. Yeah. For fit, I have to give it one poot because it fits me sort of, but again, the sleeves are too short. Cause well, I'm a, like gargantuan arms or something. Yeah, I, I don't do. understand. All right, so for the moto category, I went with a very like stereotypical leather moto because it is like the exact fit that I would want a leather moto to be in and this, the exact structure. I think it is like really different than anything else I own, but it's very me. I usually don't like bells like this. Also, this one's really jingly jangly. But for some reason, I think it works with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I love this. I love this. So coat. jealous. It like is standard in its shape, like uh -huh. classic, mm -hmm. but all the zippers and everything look so expensive. It looks so good. But this is only 40 bucks. That's just crazy. That's a good deal. Yeah, and you know what? It's like, I think it's also like super like lightweight, surprisingly enough. Yeah. But because it has a nice like very breathable satiny type lining. It's definitely gonna keep you cooler. You look like you better shape up. Do, do, do. I don't need a mail. Oh, yeah, like, you, oh. So for quality, I would give this a five. I mean, just the fact that they've done such a good job of making it look expensive, I feel like deserves a high quality rating. I'm super comfortable in this. You could ask me two hours and I could be like, I need to take this off so bad because um, I am getting a little bit hot. But you know, in terms of comfort, I'd have to give it five snowmen as well. And then I think it fits me great. It's yeah. like, yeah, it it's the perfect type of fit you want for a jacket where it's not too tight, not too loose. So for fit, I'll give it five snowmen. So we're doing fives across the board. This is the moto jacket I picked. I'm disappointed because what? in the photo, it was like very form fitting mm. and this isn't doing that. And I feel like it looks cheap, but I do really like this I was gonna um, say. collar part. Mm -hmm. this Collar mm -hmm. buckle. When you're like riding on a motorcycle, mm -hmm. you need to like not have a lot of extra things going on. And that that um, neck collar thing is very reminiscent of like a motorcycle jacket. But like that's what it comes from. Moto comes yeah. from a motorcycle jacket, right? Yeah. So this is actually what? <laughs> I didn't know what did you that. think it came from? Like Motorola or something? I don't think it looks cheap. I really, really? don't. Mm -hmm. I really don't think it looks cheap. Okay. It's not shiny, which I think makes it look real. Real. I do love that there's a bunch of patterns too. Like yeah, all the too. patterns are like going just... in different directions. I do like that. I you have long arm syndrome in that one too. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you look guys? at that. I know. How much was you this? Know? This was forty dollars, which I think is a little steep for what you're getting, to be yeah. honest. So how would you rank it? Three and a half. Three and a half smooth criminal emojis for quality. <laughs> for fit. I'm gonna give this three smooth criminal emojis because that's just disrespectful. It's a crime. It's yeah, a crime. It's not okay. For comfort, I'll give it a five because it's extremely comfortable. I mean, it's a jacket. Okay, um, let's try something else, yeah? Yeah, yeah let's do it. Can it. Only go up from here. So for our next category, we went for the faux fur slash teddy look for these coats. I picked this. I thought the color was gonna be a little different. It's a little like rust. Yeah, burnt orangey, uh -huh. and I don't love that on me. I think it's really soft. It fits me really, really well, except for here. But you know what? I feel like because it's so comfortable, it's also kind of like a nice like just throw on and go kind of coat. Mm -hmm. It's not a, a coat you're like styling in. Mm -hmm. I think I can make it work. It is lined. It does have some like little layover of the fuzz right here, so it makes it look like 
it spas all the way through, even though it's not which I like. It's just the color I don't like for some yeah. reason. It's like bear like. You I know? just it is yeah. very bear like, but I also think you're wearing the wrong like color pants, maybe. Like maybe if your jeans were lighter blue. You know, because the white boots look really nice with it and the white top. I just think it's the blue that's making this look really orange. Yeah. You know? But like, my hair too. Like I, I think, think my color scheme of who I am as a human doesn't work. Like genetically. For quality, I give it five foods. For comfort, I give it five foods. It's just for fit. You only get three foods, because it's like, does it fit my arms? And it's just a struggle. Like, Put it in your pockets. Pockets, there you go. There no, go. whatever, no. Okay, so for my faux fur slash teddy category pick, I actually have way too many long fur coats. So I wanted to go a little bit different and get this. It almost looks like a little bit like matted or something, mm -hmm. but it is incredibly soft. I hate to break it to you, Erin. This is short on me, Weird. which is crazy. Just give us more wrist fabric. I don't understand. You've come so yeah. far. You just come a little bit more. Just push yourself. I like the color. It looks so soft. I don't, I don't think I like it when, you, when you're not holding it. Right? Like when it you're not messing with it. It doesn't fit the way it should. Yeah. Like what about, what about, like open. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. I like it better like that. But they're yeah. gonna freeze because it's cold. Have you looked outside? Okay, so for quality, I have to give this. I know that this is not gonna last very long. I think I have to give this a three. I was gonna give it a four. Air <laughs> <laughs> was hurt. Um, for comfort, I have to give it a five because it's literally like a dream come true. It's like wrapping yourself in a freaking cloud. Mm -hmm. um, and then for fit, I would give it a three, two. It's just like something's not right in here. It's almost shorter in the back. Like what is this like oh, weird? Rihanna. I kind of like that though. I wish it was like shorter in the front too. Like I like, I like that it's higher up here. It feels like it should be higher up here too, you know? It's when you want to go to the movies and sneak your snacks in. So this is my little faux fur number. Mm -hmm. It's fuzzy, right? It doesn't look like it's as soft as it is. I agree. It's very, very soft. Oh, yeah. I like it because it's very, like Aaron said, like going to the movies, just like kick mm -hmm. back or mm -hmm. going to the gym, whatever, throw on top of anything. It doesn't, again, look like it did in the picture. Like in the picture, it was kind of like poofier and tight where I'm holding it. That's yeah. why I'm holding it like this. Because mm -hmm. if I don't hold it, it's just kind of. It looks like a hoodie. It was like a hoodie, yeah. and I want it to look very like Jenny from the block. Right. Like early yeah. 2000s. Right. Yeah. It should be cinched in the yeah. waist a little bit. Also, I wish that the hood was like fluffier, and it's not. Oh, I like the hood though. I think you were going to get a lot of use out of that. Yeah, I, I think, think so, so too. Like, I could throw this over anything. I was going to say, know? like, when you're like at home and you need to run anywhere, that's the this coat you're going to pick up. For quality, I'm going to give it. You gotta give it a five. Yeah. Right? yeah. Cause yeah. I think I'm going off of what it probably looks like. It probably doesn't look like it's the best of quality. I don't think I it, think it looks, I think like, it looks like it's really good quality. And then for comfort, I'm gonna give it five just because you can't go wrong. No. It's wonderful. And then for fit, I'm going to give it, it's a three for me just cause I wanted it to fit shorter and more J Lo. Yeah, yeah you know? I knew you were gonna say that. I'm not J Lo yet. You are what you believe you are. <sighs> Thank you. Except for in that clip. I don't believe I'm J Lo in this. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this round is the puffer round. I am obsessed with this coat. This is a coat that I feel like people who actually live in really cold places could wear, at, like in New York. And it's super warm. I was like, I couldn't hear myself in there. <laughs> it is so thick. It's like really good quality. And it's so warm in here. The sleeves are long enough. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's what it's supposed to look like. Yeah. And I do feel like it gives me a shape, mm -hmm. which again, is really hard to find in a puffer coat. And there's pockets. And this hood is so cute and warm. And I like that it's kind of like a neutral color. It'll go with anything. Mm -hmm. The inside has this little like, it's like a faux fur, oh, like wow. velvet lining. Like, yeah, it looks like, oh, it looks like crushed velvet a little bit. Yeah, yeah. it's so soft. Oh my gosh, nice. Yeah, the this zipper's good really good. The yeah. body is so good yeah. on this. Oh, no. I think it looks really great. The hood reminds me of like a very specific time in my life. I know exactly what you're about to say because I think it's what I was gonna say. Are you talking about like the Hollister uh, Abercrombie uh, time? Yes, I, yeah. it looks like it was from Abercrombie and Fitch. The navy blue And the color. fur, the yeah. fur, how it's like ombre, like that was their thing. Yes, it was their thing. Uh -huh. It still looks good though. 
thing. This reminds me of that. Okay, well, I liked it before, but now I'm questioning everything. So for quality, mm. I do feel like if it was an Abercrombie, you would get what you pay for because it feels very expensive. All the fabrics feel really nice. So for quality, I give it five poods. For comfort, I give it five poods. For fit, I give it five poods. It's a pood party. This is the happiest I've ever been. <laughs> so jealous. During so any cute. of these, um, Try on videos. You're messing I... up the audio. Touching yourself so much. <laughs> I am obsessed with this coat, but I also feel really bad because when I went to select this coat for this video, it was $48. And I did notice that it was a very high end brand. This is like Vince Camuto, um, and it's usually really expensive. And I just figured it was like out of season or something. But I, when I went to go check today, it's back up to its regular price and it's more than double that. So that's a little unfortunate, but maybe that's a good thing because maybe this will continue to be the one of the coats that like they put on sale every once in a yeah. while. I love everything about it. It is literally the softest coat I think I've ever worn in my life. And especially for a puffer coat, you always expect it to be like a little bit more solid. And this like kind of, yeah, it collapses. Oh, it collapses. Whoa. You could pack that in a suitcase so easily. Yes. yes. Feel it. And it got, kind of like immediately comes oh, back up with. weird. That's like really good quality. My favorite part is the, are the drawstrings. I love the drawstrings because it kind of like gives you an option to like have a like a more like Jeez. fashionable You look like shape. a snow bunny waiting to happen. Yeah. I just, I love this so much. So Me for too. quality, comfort and fit, I have to give five, five, five. Snowman. It's perfect. It's I never perfect. want to take it off. My puffer is uh, is a different party, like you said. I love the color. I did pick that specifically for because I love how extra it is. Um, but this takes me to a very specific time in my life. I grew up in the Bay Area, and Raiders, when they were still with Oakland, I think they're with Vegas now. Oh, yes. Whatever. But I, my family was a big Raiders fan back when they were still with Oakland, and I that was my first football game I ever went to was with my dad, and I had a huge silver puffer. It was bigger than this. And like I associate this color with Raiders always because of that reason. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more puffy, but I'm happy with it. It's just... I like uh, it. I think the color is great, actually. Look, look. Oh, yeah. It's a bummer. You point out that there's drawstrings. I didn't even notice. Where yeah. are they? Where are the sides? Right here. Oh my god, so it does like oh, Yes. That's really oh, okay, cute. I love that. Pull, pull, that's pull. a game changer. Okay, that's oh, a yeah. Pull. Oh my yeah. Gosh. Game changer. <gasps> yeah. For quality, I'm gonna give this five smooth criminals because I like it and it I feels like it. good. For comfort, I give it five smooth criminals because again, it's a jacket. Can't go wrong. And then for fit, I'm gonna give it four because the sleeves and it is what it is. <laughs> So this is our wild card round, and Sinead and I basically picked the same coat but opposite. Um, and I was a little worried after her review of this coat that the sleeves were gonna mess me up and it won't fit me very well. But I have found that it's long enough for me. Crazy. And so I actually feel like it fits me a lot better than I thought it would. It feels very comfortable and flowy and breezy. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. It's crazy how inconsistent it is with sizing when you change the size. Like all the all the elements change along with it, which is just wild. Yeah. But I do think it looks really good on you. I think Sinead and I are on to something. I like it. I like it too. So for quality, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give it a four, even though I do believe it will fall apart. It feels very much like quality at this point in time. Mm -hmm. For comfort, I'm gonna give it five. And for fit, I'm gonna give it five. I just love it so much. Like Erin, I got the same coat that she had chosen for her faux fur, um, but I chose it for my wild card. It is $36, which I think is really affordable actually mm -hmm. for, a, for a fur or a faux fur coat. And I chose an olive color instead of the rust color. I actually liked them both online. I think in terms of color, both of them are not right in person. But I do like olive. I think it goes with more than orange does. I love this color, actually. It's yeah. almost like a sage. Yeah, exactly, which I don't necessarily love that part about it. Like, I love olive. I like dark, dark olive colors. Mm -hmm. But I'm not mad at this color at all. And I will say it is really comfortable. The sleeves fit really nicely. It's a good coat. It's not like the highest quality. I don't feel like it looks expensive. I like the color olive, but I think because I, for both of yours, even though they're different colors, they remind me of the lady in Home Alone, the bird lady. Kevin! Can I try this coat on? Sure. What do you think is gonna happen? I just wanna know if you think it looks better <laughs> on me. <laughs> just on Sinead. <laughs> Not, yeah, no, no. But like, look. 
like, do you think that the color looks better on like with, with the hair, hair and this like this coloring? You guys both should not take this coat home. Well, I guess I will rate it. <laughs> um, so for quality, I'm gonna give it a, I'll give it a two, because I think that's where this lacks the most. Mm -hmm. It's still made fine, but I think that it looks very low quality, and I hate that. For comfort, it's really freaking comfortable, so you have to give it a five. Like, I can't lie and say it's not comfortable. And for fit, like, I think it fits fine, actually. Yeah, the sleeves fit me really well. I know you had a sleeve issue with yours, but, like, they fit me really well. It's. Yeah, it's fine. I would give it a five for fit. I'll happily take it off of your hands. Or you can have it. Okay. Are you, you know, sure? I feel incredibly naked now because I'm literally in my bra, but it's fine. <laughs> this is cute. Thanks, girl. You're oh gonna my God. sweat. I bullets. love it so much. <laughs> For my wild card round, I did a bomber jacket just because I love bomber jackets. Mm -hmm. And I also love this print. It reminds me of Mari from Smosh. This is a very Mari bomber yeah. jacket. Yeah. And I love Mari's style. Again, this is, I know. That is horrendous. The worst. That's the, the worst. worst one we've seen it's today. It's so bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Friend. It has, it has right. fuzzies. It has fuzzies on it. Wow. Who needs an imaginary friend when you have fuzzy? Where'd you go? There you go. <laughs> Because it's such a very um, like out there print, mm -hmm. it's actually a really specific style that I dig very much. I actually feel like you could roll the, or like pull the sleeves up on it, and it would look like it was supposed to be. Like yeah, that. no, totally. That's like that's how you should style it anyway. Yeah. So I don't think the length is a huge issue. I really dig this. I feel like very much so myself. It's probably the the most myself I've felt throughout this whole episode. Yeah. Wow, I see how like soothing I got? Mm -hmm. Let's rate this. Okay, so for quality, I'm going to give this, well, with the exception of the little furry friends, I would have <laughs> given it like a five, but now I'm gonna give it a four. I can't wait till you cut that off. It's really bugging me. Know, stop looking at it, my friend. For comfort, I'm gonna give it a five, per usual, and for fit, you know what, I'm gonna give it a five, even though the sleeves are too short, because if I roll it up like this, it looks like it was supposed to be that way, yeah. you know? Okay, well, as fun as this is for all of us, um, I'm gonna go put a coat on my body, so let's put our favorites on. <laughs> Can I wear two favorites? <laughs> okay, favorites, y'all. This is my favorite. I feel the most me in it. I feel mm. cool, I feel like I'm gonna go sell some perfume. <laughs> that was in English, but you know. Um, yeah, this is obviously my favorite. Yeah. Um, I don't feel the most me in this, surprisingly, but I should because it is amazing, literally is. the most comfortable thing ever, and now it is my new favorite coat. Yeah, this is my favorite because you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. Under $50 is really hard to get a quality coat that's yeah. gonna mm -hmm. actually keep you warm where it's cold. This will keep you warm. Feeling really good about things, and I also feel good about you subscribing to this channel. There is a button right there with the bell. Make sure you hit it. Yep, and get in the yep. comments. Let us know what else you want us to try on, and of course, as a reminder, you can shop all of our picks in the description below. That's right there, right. you guys. Lots of things to click down below. Have fun, and we'll see you back here next time. Bye. Bye. And you. <sighs> that was so much so fun. Cool. But so we're freezing. freezing. So you guys, if you want to make us warm, <laughs> click that video right over there and watch more Clever Style. <laughs> and or then subscribe. Yeah, I thought you forgot. <laughs>